In the world of combat sports, where fighters are molded, there's a profound truth that resonates. It's not just a fight in the cage. It's a reflection of the struggles and triumphs of life itself. Summing up my fighting journey, obviously it's been a tough journey. Uh, as a kid, I always wanted to do this so I, and since I was 14. Uh, I used to play rugby in school and uh, I knew I didn't want to do anything in, uh, like an, as an office job. I wanted to do something in sports. Mohamed Yahya, a UAE warrior of the Arabian champion at lightweight, is set to make his mark on UFC 294. He will enter the octagon as the first Emirati fighter in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So I was in Thailand a few months ago training for my next fight uh, in UAE Warriors. Then I got uh, the call, so I couldn't believe it. Uh, I didn't believe it till I actually got back to Dubai and met them. But yeah, uh, I was like, uh, for sure, this has always been a dream of mine. And uh, I'm sat here training my hardest to compete, so I'm ready. Yahya is scheduled to take on American Trevor Peak in a bout that symbolizes far more than a clash of fighters. It represents a defining moment for the entire Arab world in the realm of mixed martial arts. Uh, the final preparation is just chopping up, obviously, uh, doing the weight cut and uh, just getting ready mentally, a visualization, uh, just everything. It's all easy from now on, uh, just to wake up. And then it's the fun part, and uh, hopefully make history. This is my coach. It's always been his dream uh, for me to be in the UFC. I swear, like since I was a kid, uh, six years ago, he always wanted to go. And, uh, and we're finally here, I swear, true story. What really got me into MMA uh, and loving the sport was uh, the Ultimate Fighter. It was uh, season 10, I think, Rampage against uh, Rashad. And uh, Rashad, uh, Rampage was just a comedian, he was just so funny and uh, hooked me to the series and then just the whole part where my, my brother was like, this is like WWE, but they're actually real fine. And I was like, no way. Me and my cousins used to sit around and watch and I really got the fire in me or like I just loved it and I wanted to to uh, do it myself, you know. So I would say watching it from TV and then uh, I just wanted to start training and as soon as I started training I loved it. Uh, it's the worst power you have to eat clean. But, uh, it's all looking good. I've been in training camp for uh, almost over a year now, man, uh, since my last fight. So. Uh, Everything's easy now, it's just the, the, the finishing touches, uh, sharpening up on the pads, and uh, that's my favorite part of uh, the last 10 days, is just taking it easy, getting ready for, for the war mentally. I'll keep the ring safe. <laughs> These guys are next in Ghana. <laughs> next year. Yes, sir. Anyone. Inshallah, he will win. Anyone. Hulk will smash soon. Heavyweight. For sure, for sure, for sure. He will win, eh? This, this, uh, uh, it's at Arena in Abu Dhabi, he will win. His first uh, competition in, U in UFC, he will win, inshallah. As Yahya prepares to represent the United Arab Emirates on the world stage, he paves the way for countless others to follow in his footsteps. When I was a kid, uh, I would dream to have these gyms, to have these events, and uh, these kids have it all there. So if they really want to do this, it's much easier uh, path than I had to do and look for the fights and stuff. So they're doing a great job of that. So uh, I feel like it's a very tough sport. It's not for everyone, but if you're determined and uh, you really want it, you can do it. And obviously it's not going to be a straight road, easy path, where you just have to, have, have to never give up. And if you really want it, it's possible. Yes. Uh, Mohammed, he's uh, ready more than all. Uh, 
this is uh, his country and here how you know guys it's difficult because less oxygen for the training but he's born here and he's training he's ready uh, for him uh, it's not about the money he gonna represent his country and uh, so many people coming supporting him and uh, it's very good for UAE and uh, about uh, MMA in uh, UAE it's growing now very fast it's like 10 15 years ago it was not like this but now you see all big promotion is here and uh, you guys will see Muhammad in 21st don't miss it Abu Dhabi investing uh, to the sport a lot not only for MMA for boxing jiu-jitsu especially I think jiu-jitsu it's like crazy every month there is two three event uh, even in the school they give uh, classes for jiu-jitsu MMA grows so much before we should wait like one event maybe in one year now mashallah Abu Dhabi helping for so many fighters inviting so many fighters not only fighters coaches and how I think it's uh, good for the country too because so many tourist people comes and uh, how how many friends I have who just came for the training and now they are living here he bring the family because it's a safety country in the world and uh, for the life it's good for the fighters the more focusing on his uh, stuff on his career he is the first one, he is the first one and without a doubt I was not doubting him that he's gonna be the first. I was uh, training here since 2020 when I first came to Dubai, moved over and I saw him and uh, he was the, in my opinion, the one and only prospect who's gonna sign the first one to uh, UFC and that's what happened and I think he's gonna take care of business here in Abu Dhabi inshallah. Yes, yeah, so after a hard session like especially wrestling, uh, I go to my favorite place uh, where I do an ice bath and uh, a jacuzzi and a sauna and uh, just relax for the rest of the day. My career, man. <laughs> this is Bobby. This is Scarecrow now for the for the fruit. <laughs> this is my Corona gym. Obviously, it's dead now. <laughs> but when we was in lockdown for like four or five uh, weeks, I used to train out here every day and got fit. And then the punching bag over there. And obviously now it's dusty and old. <laughs> so yeah. Got it in though. And how was he as a kid? He was uh, mischievous. Uh, he was very energetic. But he was a nice guy. Loved him since day one. How proud are you of him in this moment, man? Very to, proud, to be man. Able to achieve his very dream. proud. We've been talking about this since we've been kids at school. And looking at him right now achieving his dreams makes me prouder than him and his parents. I've been with him since day one. We are Mendy. This is where we normally eat before we go out to the desert. And you're gonna see what we're gonna eat today. It gives us the full. It gives, honestly, for when I'm depleted of carbs, this is uh, my favorite meal, it gives me the most energy I need. So what kind of food do they serve here? Oh, so, so they serve uh, meat, chicken, and the traditional dish which is uh, hashi, which is uh, camel meat. Yeah, so this is the food, normally before we go out, like, 
uh, we would go f pray Friday prayer at the mosque, and then on the weekend we would go uh, to the desert, and this meal would keep us full for the whole desert, so uh, throughout the whole day while we're at the desert, you know. And uh, I feel like if I was about to go out to war, and it was my last meal, I'd eat this would keep me energized, it gives me everything I need, uh, and energy-wise, before going out to war. So this would definitely be just meat and rice. That's like old school caveman food, I would say. This is how our ancestors would eat back in the day. There's a saying of uh, the founder of uh, the UAE, uh, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, peace be upon him. Uh, there's a saying he used to say that uh, a person that doesn't have a past could never have a future. And that's why uh, we Emiratis, we always try to stick with our traditions and teachings because that's, uh, that's what made us who we are to this day. If I didn't have fighting in my life, if that's the thing, I don't know what I would be doing because I'm not good at anything else. But, uh, I really don't know what I'm doing, but so thank God I think fighting saved my life because when I was a kid I wasn't really uh, disciplined in school. I got kicked out, I used to fight a lot. I got kicked out of two schools and uh, my parents didn't know what to do with me because I was basically out of control. Like, like, there was no, no one could control me. I was just like, I felt like I had nothing to lose. I didn't want to be in school. I hated the smell of school and everything. And then when I, uh, I started doing martial arts, uh, when I was uh, 13, uh, my parents see the change in me and how disciplined I came. And I was, I was with a coach who was very religious, a very military guy, and he disciplined me. And they see my, my improvement in school changed and my discipline, and I, was, I changed. So I would say fight and save my life uh, in many ways. And, uh, made me the ha like I feel like this is the best sport in the world to be in. Like I love what I do, 100%. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you want everything to be the biggest, the tallest? Steve, why not? Why not? If you can't have it in New York, what can have we have it here? Why are you in such a hurry? Most people would try and do all of this in a lifetime, not in five years. I want, I want my people to live a better life now, to go to the high school now, to go to the good uh, health care now, not after 20 years. When you're in the middle of the desert, you're about to see what our brothers don't need to do. Some, uh, this is our ego, it's about to hunt some pigeons. So the pigeon is uh, obviously my opponent. <laughs> I'm the eagle. Uh, obviously, it's the most beautiful animal for me. Like, uh, just you get to train your falcon and then. Uh, Watch it hunt, basically. It's the most powerful animal, you know? One of the most powerful birds, and uh, the speed of it, the agility of it, and uh, they're very smart, you know? Cool them off in between rounds. Yeah, the hard fights, you go cool them off.
Sahara. Yeah, obviously I sacrificed a lot. I sacrificed holidays. I haven't been on holiday in about six, seven years. You know, I haven't took a holiday. I haven't took a break. I've been fighting back to back. Uh, I've been fighting for championship fights. So I've always fought of my bout. I ain't letting no one else come in to my country to fight me and take away my bout. So I always uh, put in the hard work. I never take days off and. Uh, I see my friends now and again, but when I'm in training camp, it's 100% focused, and uh, all I do is eat, pray, sleep, and train. This fight isn't just about individual glory. It's about a collective dream shared by an entire region, a dream of showcasing their prowess and determination to the world. In this moment, Yahya isn't just a fighter. He is a trailblazer a symbol of the collective strength and determination of the Arabian region. His journey inspires us to remember that barriers are meant to be broken, ceilings are meant to be shattered, and history is meant to be rewritten. As we witness this historic fight, we eagerly await the countless others who will follow in Yahya's lead, forging their own paths and inspiring a generation of fighters in the UAE and beyond.